Hi guys, we are here with one of our closest friends, Pippa Wanganine. Hello. She Hi. is sunshine. We call her sunshine, the kindest woman in the entire world. Absolutely. <laughs> Nothing seems to phase her. <laughs> um, she has a beautiful husband, Gavin. She has three gorgeous daughters. She's also a stepmama, juggling lots of different things in her life. Um, and we are really excited just to chat to her about all things motherhood and this crazy thing called laughing yoga. Um, Pippa, how are you firstly? I'm good. I'm really well, thank you. Oh, that's good. Um, can you just talk to us about your family dynamic and who's in your family and, you know, I know you're a stepmother as well. Yeah, I am. So um, when people ask me how many children I have, I never... I, I never know I, what to know say. What to say. Same. I, I never just, know. I was like, I have two. Lots. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, sort of four. But, yeah. <laughs> but it, it just feels like I've got millions of children. <laughs> um, and um, so basically there are five altogether. Yeah. Um, so we've got um, three little girls together, Gavin and I, and they're three, four and five at the moment. So um, Crazy pants. I don't know crazy. how you do it. I know. So we <laughs> yeah. had three little girls in two and a half years, which... I wow. always say, I know, it doesn't sound mathematically possible, but we found out that it is. It is mathematically possible. Um, and then I've also got a stepson who's 15. He's in year 10. And my stepdaughter, Mia, is... Um, she's going to be 19 in a couple That's of that. weeks. Which so is Gavin crazy. has a 19-year-old and then he has a three-year-old? Yes. Is that your youngest? Yes. Oh, my I've goodness. always wondered about parenting so many different ages because yeah. the, the person you have to be for the 19-year-old is so different to the two-year-old. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. And I remember once it all became so clear to me. I was at a party and I had one of the babies was a newborn, so I had her, and then one of my girls was a toddler running around and some someone said to me they also had a newborn and they said oh how's it going with the sleep and I said oh yeah it's okay and, and then someone says oh that's nothing wait till you get the toddler years and I said oh yeah well I've got that too I checked <laughs> that my child wasn't climbing up a, a pole or something um, and then, then they're like the teenagers yes. and then they said no teenagers are the worst I said oh my gosh I've got that too <laughs> so I had, I had the whole situation happening at once but um I think you know it's it's really been such a joy and I always wanted a big family and I got it. Yes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're not going to stop now, are you? No, I, I want to have one yeah. more. <laughs> she's, she's like me. Yeah, yeah I'm like never, never going to be done. I never feel like I can't understand the feeling of being like, oh yeah, I'm done. This is my last pregnancy. Like, I have to have uh, a bunch no, more. I know. That feeling is so good. I've made the decision. Yeah, she's like, <laughs> I am done. done I don't done. need <laughs> any more babies. Oh, I hope I feel done after my yeah. next one. Yeah. that's a lot <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny yeah um and then so for you obviously one of your passions is family you're such an amazing mummy I don't know how you juggle it all seriously um and then you have this beautiful Instagram page you're an influencer and your your girls are just gorgeous and I love all the things you're involved in um, can you just tell us a little bit more about some of the things that you're passionate about and, you know, your day-to-day -day life? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, thank you for saying such <laughs> kind <laughs> things. I, I could say all the same things about you two. You both oh. are so inspiring to me. <laughs> really it's your beauty and kindness. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me feel like a bad person no, when I'm really oh, shy. Oh, no, <laughs> oh, not at all. Um, I, um, I suppose the thing that I'm most passionate about is is um, pursuing a life of joy. So, uh, you know, life can be really hard, it can be really challenging, and it's um, at different times, you know, things come up and and force you to, to deal with, you know, the challenge, and it's not necessarily that that is is hard, it's, it's how you manage that challenge, mm -hmm. and, and managing that in a way that is, um, helping you to evolve and become the best version of yourself. So for me, my passions lie in constantly trying to grow as a person and make real connections with other beautiful human beings like you guys. Um, and just finding joy in every day, even when um, things are hard. And chaotic. Mm. And chaotic, <laughs> which is every day. <laughs> 
Um, yeah. And so speaking about challenges, what what is it about being a mummy that you find the most challenging? I think oh, the most challenging thing is really just so minor. It's just the logistics mm. of life. Mm-hmm. You know, it's the juggle. Mm. It's um, trying to make sure that you have enough time to be present with your kids and, and do all the things that you want to do with them, but also pursue a career and um, have your relationship with your husband. Yes. 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 And that's yeah. always the one and that yeah. like gets neglected yeah. for me. Oh, <laughs> oh, I know, and I know. What what about meal times in your house? Like what does nutrition for you guys look like? Well, I was just thinking about it this morning as we were running out the door to a, a breakfast function and I wanted to make sure that all the girls had some breakfast um, there but I didn't have time to cook anything for them or um, so for me the logistics of the morning routine are f- is it's full on mm. same yeah. I agree it's uh, just trying to get everyone like, oh gosh trying to get three, lunch boxes and yes <laughs> three <laughs> sets of hair done yeah. <laughs> the girls I don't know that yet too many girls yeah, like full bows and frills yeah. I don't know how you get them out on time oh, no. <laughs> I feel like it's just mm. always that sort of rush but um yeah so for me meal times are good but it's about trying to find something that makes it more streamlined and easy particularly in the mornings mm. I think would be really helpful for me Mm. That's good for us. That's good for us. <laughs> <laughs> the whole exactly. reason why <laughs> well, we made Love Well. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. So, you know, hopefully you'll get to try it soon and with your three girls and we'd love your feedback on how that might change, you know, your routines in the morning because it really is all about bringing your daily nutrition in one quick and easy smoothie. I know, it sounds mm-hmm. good. And my girls love smoothies. So mm. And it's perfect. chocolate flavour. Exactly. Yes, yeah, chocolate milkshake for the kids. <laughs> um... Okay, and then so what is your, like, to you, what's the most rewarding thing about motherhood? The most rewarding thing about motherhood, I think, is just just having these beautiful little people around you all the time. And, uh, you know, they bring so much laughter into the house and joy and they allow you to to look at the world through their eyes Mm -hmm. and I think sometimes as adults you know we get so caught up in the chaos of our life we forget to just enjoy the wonder Mm, and I think having um children in your life just brings that laughter and that wonder Mm. and um, appreciation for just little things. For the now and for the journey, not that destination. Yeah, Yeah. absolutely. It's a constant reminder of that Mm. and um, I always feel really lucky that I've got them you know, in my life. Talking mm-hmm. of Beautiful. laughter. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm already starting. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> is this it? <laughs> if that's what happens with laughter, it's contagious. Yeah. What, what, is, what is laughing yoga? Because mm. I started mm. laughing when I heard of laughing yoga. I was like, oh, <laughs> sounds hilarious. So you're a laughter yoga teacher. Oh, yes. you were? Or yeah. I, yes. So, I, yeah, I suppose for me... Um, Laughter yoga came about because I was going through some some significant changes in my life. So I relocated from South Africa to Australia after having lived there for five years. Um, I had made the choice to leave an unhealthy relationship. Mm -hmm. And I was working in a a role that was really um, challenging as well because I was learning new skills and um, it was a, a lot of responsibility in my role. So it was a, a very kind of hectic and chaotic time. Um, and some of my work colleagues came to me and they sort of knew all the things that I was um, going through. And they said, oh my gosh, people, like, I don't understand it. You seem so grounded. Like, what are you doing to stay that way? And like, how can we do that too? And so what I um, told them was that I was actually meditating. Mm. And one of the um, practices that I came across when I was doing my research about what types of meditation would work for me was actually laughter meditation and laughter yoga. So laughter, you always hear that that saying that laughter is the best medicine. medicine. Mm. 
And um, I really believe that it is. And so, so basically, laughter yoga. Gosh, you just laugh, basically. Yeah. <laughs> you laugh. That. And what? Is so, this it? <laughs> yes, we're doing <laughs> it. So, so, so the thing about laughter is that it releases a whole lot of really good stuff in your body. So you, you get endorphins. Um, it's called yoga because of the type of breathing that you do mm. when you're doing the laughter yoga. So, so you don't need a mat to get exercise no, clothes. No, because I don't. was thinking like, <laughs> <laughs> well, it is a bit like that. <laughs> it is a bit like I that. It. Well, it is because you do. So you start off the practice um, doing some ex- some yoga exercises okay. and learning to breathe and and um, and that's what. Th- that's why it's able to be called yoga because you're doing yogic breathing while you're laughing. So mm. laughter is a natural form of yogic breathing because you're exhaling more than you're inhaling. Mm. Okay. And so the the things about laughter yoga that I love is um, that the body doesn't know the difference between real or pretend laughter. Right. Really? Yes. I had no idea. Yes. Ah. So people always get nervous and they say, well, I, I don't know how to be funny. I don't mm. know how to laugh. But you don't have to. You just have to turn up with an open mind um, and engage in childlike playfulness mm-hmm. and see what happens. I wonder if I should try and do laughter yoga in labour. Oh, yes! <laughs> yeah. Well, I was just thinking, I don't think we should do I'm too much myself. <laughs> I don't want the baby to come out early. <laughs> no, it's definitely so, something I needed in my life, you know, a year ago in yeah. down times. You know, like, as you say, it tricks your body and perhaps gets you out of a bit of a slump mm. to immediately feel more uplifted. It does. And I think that that ties in with child, having children around too, because when you're seeing, when you're around happy people, you can't help but feel happier. Mm-hmm. So if you're looking at someone who's always smiling and laughing, you, your face starts to mirror them and therefore that <laughs> tricks your mind. I think this whole interview has been just big <laughs> <I'm> smiles. Like, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> We're so good at that. <laughs> um, it, it just tricks your, your mind into believing that you're happier. And then when your mind believes you're happier, your body mm. then starts to get the benefits of that too. Mm. So I love it. It's so really nice. powerful. A healthy mind and healthy body. Um, mm. And also creates, I think, a lot more empathy and compassion as well for other people. So mm. there's just a whole host of benefits to laughter yoga amazing beautiful Mm. and the next time we see Pippa (laughs) she's gonna run through laughter yoga with us (laughs) and we'll be total goofballs and it will be great and you guys can follow along as well when you watch the video that's right (laughs) I'll do a session for everyone yeah (laughs) oh thank Thank you so much for taking your time out no worries thanks for having me